Okay, everyone, welcome back to Cooking with TK. Today, you guys, I made a delicious meatball parm soup bowl. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. If you guys would like to know how I made this delicious meatball parm soup bowl, or let's say Parmesan cheese soup bowl, then this is the video for you. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. Let's go ahead and get into this video, you guys. Okay, everyone, the ingredients you will need to make meatball parmesan soup is, first you're gonna need some meatballs. Now, I got these meatballs at Walmart. These are pork Italian style meatballs. Um, you can buy beef meatballs or you can make your own Italian meatballs, okay? So, this is the pack of meatballs, okay? Now, you're going to need three cups of beef broth, okay, three cups. You're going to need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Here I have parsley for um, decorations. You will use that at the end. You will need oregano, one tablespoon of oregano, salt to taste, and you need some black pepper, okay? You can use coarsely ground black pepper. That's just regular black pepper. You will need two to three tablespoons of tomato paste. You will need a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. If you have freshly grated, perfect. You will need one large onion diced. You will need one tablespoon or one large garlic clove. You will need three cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. You will need one cup of skim milk or whole milk. You will need 28 ounces of diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes, okay? You will need four, three to four sourdough bowls. Now, these sourdough bowls cost $2 at Walmart, $1.79. Um, it's where the bread is sold. As you can see, market side, that represents Walmart, okay? And it bakes in 10 to 12 minutes, okay? So, that's $1.79, basically $2 for these sourdough bowls, okay, you guys? So, these are all the ingredients you will need to make our meatball parmesan soup bowls okay this is a very delicious tasting soup i know many of you guys have seen this um at olive garden they've had it in the past i think it was in a spring um menu item but today we are going to make this at home okay now, the tomato paste that I'm using has basil and garlic and oregano in it. Also, I got the tomatoes that have seasoning in it as well. So, if you do get the tomato paste and the tomatoes that has the seasoning in it, you can go ahead and disregard, um, cut down on the oregano and the garlic, okay? So, let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees get you a baking pan okay like so that's big enough to fit your meatballs in and what you're going to do is you are going to bake these meatballs okay that's my oven saying that it has been preheated to 350 degrees if you have some um baking sheets use those um i'm using this aluminum foil and now I'm gonna go ahead and place my meatballs in my pan. Okay, everyone, so I have my Italian style, pork Italian style meatballs in my pan. Make sure that your 
meatballs are separated like so, okay? Remember, I am using Italian-style pork meatballs. They do have Parmesan cheese in them. Like I stated, you can make your own meatballs if you choose to do so for your meatball parm soup. Um, this is going to take about a 50-minute time cooking time for everything together. For the meatballs, they should be done in 30 minutes. You need one pound of ground beef if you're going to make your own or pork sausage. One and a half cup of Italian bread crumbs. Two cloves of garlic minutes. A half a cup of fresh Italian parsley chopped. One tablespoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper to make your meatballs. Okay, that's what you will need to make your meatballs. To make the meatballs, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and line two baking sheets with parchment paper. In a large bowl, combine ground beef, breadcrumbs, garlic, parsley, and crushed red pepper flakes and season with salt and pepper. Roll into meatballs about one inch in diameter and transfer to one prepared baking sheet. Bake until brown and cook th thoroughly through. 15 minutes, then heat broiler, okay? So, that's what you would need to make your own homemade meatballs, okay? But here, I bought these from Walmart. They're pre-made, and you do have that option to buy pre-made um, meatballs. I wouldn't prefer the ones in the bag that are pre-cooked, um, but if you want to buy those um, that's in the frozen section, you can, but to me, Fresh meatballs like such, as you see here, are best for when making this uh, meatball parm soup recipe. Okay, so let's get this in the oven and move on to the next step. Okay, everyone, here I have added two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So what we're going to do is we are going to get ready to saute our one large onion that we chopped down, okay? Remember, when you're using extra virgin olive oil, you don't just straight heat it up before you put your ingredients in. You go ahead and you put the olive oil, the extra virgin olive oil, into your skillet or whatever item you're using. Put your um, ingredients in, such as this onion, and you allow it to heat up together, okay? So you're gonna whisk your onions around in this, and we are going to heat these onions up and cook them until they are translucent. And then we are going to come in and we are going to add our minced garlic, okay? So that's what we're doing here. So put this onto like a medium low heat because we don't want to burn anything, okay? Cook this until it's translucent, and then we'll move on to the garlic, okay? Okay, everyone, so our onions have cooked down until they begin to come golden. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our minced garlic, okay? You see the minced garlic here. And we're going to cook that garlic for about one minute until it becomes fragrant. Okay, just one minute, okay? And we're gonna stir this and get it combined, okay? Now, let's go ahead and add in our tomato paste, okay? Remember, that's two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we are going to cook this, you guys. And get this well combined as well, okay? And once you get this well combined, then we'll move on to the next step, okay? Okay, so now we're going to add in our tomatoes. We are going to add in our 
beef broth. This is to make the soup, remember. And we are going to add in our skim milk, you guys, okay? And let's stir this together. Okay. And we are going to um, add in our seasoning. And we're going to bring this to a boil, okay? So I'm going to turn my eye up to about four, the number four. Okay, you guys? Now, we are going to... Um, Remember to stir this until it is well combined, okay? And when our meatballs are done, we are going to add our meatballs, okay? So this is for the soup part. So let's go ahead and allow this to cook for uh, uh, about five to 10 minutes, okay? And I'll be back once this cooks. Okay, everyone, so our meatballs have cooked thoroughly. Now I hit the broiler and I'm gonna let it hit um be on low broil for about a minute, okay? And then we're gonna pull our meatballs out. Okay, you guys, so our meatballs are done. As you can see here, after we hit them with the broil, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our meatballs. You guys see that? Beautiful color once you hit them with that broil. We're gonna place it inside the soup, so place your meatballs inside the soup, okay? As you see, I'm doing here, okay? Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna take this sourdough ball bread, okay? And I'm gonna hollow it out. I've done the other two and this is the last one that I need to do. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut the top around the edges like so, okay? I'm gonna cut it like this, okay? Ooh, it's kinda hard to do this. Um, without your help today. I do have a stand, but I broke it. So, okay. So that's the top. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spoon. And that's how I'm going to hollow the inside out, okay? It is kind of hard, y'all. So, Use a little arm strength to hollow the inside of your bread out, okay? And crumbs are going to get everywhere, okay? Okay. So, I have this hollowed out. Got one more piece to get. You guys see it so it's hollowed out okay you guys so allow your meatballs and the soup mixture to come to a simmer okay and what you're gonna do once that comes to a simmer you're gonna um add in half of the mozzarella okay so let's go ahead and add in the mozzarella and we're gonna use half of it so that's a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella that we're adding to our meatball parm soup, okay? And you're gonna add in all of the Parmesan cheese, okay? So go ahead and add in all the Parmesan cheese. And I want you guys to go ahead and mix that together, okay? Let's allow this to stir and simmer together for a minute, okay? So just stir it nicely okay this is going to be so delicious i hope you guys are enjoying this video so far if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time i upload a video with some delicious tasting food 
And please leave lots and lots of comments down below if you guys have made this. How do you make it? Or if this is something that you think you would like to try. Um, I enjoy conversating with you guys, okay? Okay, you guys, we are going to go ahead and season this with the season, the black pepper, the salmon, the oregano that we had. Pour that on in there. Sorry, y'all. We made the clank of the clank net, but I want to get all that seasoning in here. And stir that in, okay? And once you have this good and stirred in, turn it off. And we're going to get ready to scoop this into our bowls because we have to bake this in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Or uh, until everything is golden and done, okay? So let's go ahead and get ready to scoop this into our sourdough balls for our meatball parmesan soup, meatball parm soup. You guys are going to love this recipe. You're going to enjoy it. Make sure if you have any cheese sticking at the bottom of the pan, you take your spoon like I'm doing so and scrape the bottom. Okay? It, it may not be burned, but just scrape it. You don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay? Because you need all that goodness to go into this bowl. Okay, so make sure you have a baking sheet to put your bowls on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop some of this soup into each bowl, okay? See that? Scoop it in here. Ladle it in there. Like so. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and finish scooping this into all of them, um, you guys, because y'all see I ain't got no camera person action today. So it's kind of hard doing this with one hand and trying to hold the camera yourself, okay? But you're going to do this for each bowl. You're going to scoop the soup on the inside, ladle it in there, okay? Before we get ready to throw this in the oven, and then we're going to top it with that um, last half of that mozzarella that we have, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and hit these, the top with this mozzarella, okay? I'm going to hit the top of this bowl with the mozzarella. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cook these for until the mozzarella is melted and everything is nice and brown, okay? It's going to take about um, 10, 15, 15 maybe 10 minutes, okay? Because the bread does have to cook a little more, okay? Okay, you guys, so I put in about two to three tablespoons of butter in here, and I put in some Parmesan, and I also added in some garlic, and I got some um, complete seasoning. I'm going to melt this because I am going to put it on the outside of my meatball Parmesan soup bowls, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and heat this up in the microwave, let the butter melt. Stir it up so when my bowls are done, I'm gonna paint them with this um butter garlic butter parmesan mixture. Okay, so our bread bowls are done, and like I stated earlier, we're gonna hit it with this garlic um parmesan cheese butter mixture that I made. I showed you guys that I um you never should put parmesan um on it before it goes into the oven because it will burn, okay. And the butter will make it burn as well, okay? So, you guys, we are finishing this up. I'm about to feed my family. I still have a lot of that mixture left over. So, I'm going to go and get some more of these bowls. So, that I can make some for my nieces and nephews. 
so that they can enjoy them a nice meatball parm soup as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please feel free to watch some of my other videos. Okay? Leave me comments um, on some of the some things that you would like to see me do. Um, I have a lot of other upcoming videos, you guys. They're going to be just as tasty and delicious and hearty during the summertime. I mean, during this winter time, I ain't mean to say summertime because it's very, very cold here in the States, y'all. Um, soups and things of that nature. You know, you can serve this with a nice, delicious salad. Um, a chef salad or something. And then a nice dessert afterwards. Um, I know it's January, but in February, this would be a nice dinner date meal as well that you can make at home because um you know a lot of our areas are heavily hit with covid and we really can't get out like we want to okay you guys so this is the finished product of my meatball parm soup bowls Ooh, it's gonna be so delicious and voila Stay tuned to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Come back to Cooking with TK for another great video.